Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I have my follow-up video for you guys 24 hours after using iOS 13 developer beta 6. Now, public beta testers, I see you guys asking me on Twitter, this is not yet available for you as of yet. And for those of you who still have a little bit of confusion, iOS 13 public beta 5 is the same as developer beta 6, okay? So just keep that in mind. If you want to know when the, the iOS 13 public beta 5 will be available for you, I'll link my Twitter down below. I always tweet it out so you guys can go ahead and update when I let you guys know. Now, before we do continue, a lot of you guys also have been asking, is Apple Card available in iOS 13? And the answer to that is yes. Yesterday, I did receive my invitation to apply for Apple Card and activate Apple Card. Now, a quick tip, if you don't see Apple Card invitation on your device, you can click on the plus button inside of the wallet application and then click on continue and your invite could be here waiting for you. So if you haven't seen it just yet, it's going to work on iOS 12 point four as well as iOS 13 developer beta 6 so I did get the prompt yesterday now let's get to some of the changes within iOS 13 developer beta 6 that I've noticed over the past 24 hours of using the software now the first thing I do want to cover is the new cut copy and paste menu that appears in iOS 13 developer beta 6 when you tap with three fingers on the screen you get this brand new menu here for cut copy and paste so if you're on a web page here and you want to copy this text for whatever reason you can now tap with three fingers and copy the text right here to the clipboard and then you can go over to notes for example and paste this into the notes if you wish to do that with the three finger tap you can bring up the menu just like that and then paste that right on there so a new menu for cut, copy, and paste in beta 6. There's also some physical changes in the software. From beta 5, you may remember when I covered the software that the LTE text on the status bar as well as the 4K text was a lot bolder, a lot darker, and it didn't really match anything else on the status bar. In beta 6, that has been reverted back to its original state. I think this looks a lot nicer, a lot sleeker. And the volume indicator, that's also been tweaked a little bit here. It now takes 16 clicks for you to reach maximum or minimum volume on the iPhone, it was 34 in beta 5. Now that has been reverted to 16 clicks. And the actual Taptic Engine, the feedback that you get, that's actually a little bit different here in beta 5 as well. I also want to take a look at the folders. Take a look here at the folders and they sort of absorb the color of the wallpaper. If we take a look here at beta 5 on this iPhone 10s Max, they have sort of like this grayish gradient to the background, a little more translucent here in beta 6 it looks like it's absorbing the color of the wallpaper. So minor change there. I'm not sure if I really like that, but it's definitely a change. In Control Center, we now have the ability to add the extension for the dark appearance, turn it right on and off right then and there. If we go back into the settings here, we can go to Control Center and we can add this extension by simply uh, moving the cursor right there it is. And now we can add that extension to Control Center for the dark appearance right there. So I think that's a really, really good move there for the control center. Another thing I did notice is if you have more than one pair of wireless headphones connected to your iPhone, you now get a sharing uh, icon and next to the volume uh, indicator in control center as you see there. So this little bubble here shows more than one set of uh, AirPods or Beats connected to the same audio source. So that's new for me in beta six. Uh, and that's everything I wanted to share with you guys so far that I've come across in iOS 13 developer beta six. Of course, you guys can anticipate my follow-up video here in the next two to three days where I share with you guys how's the battery, how's the performance, is there any bugs and any major issues within the software. That takes a little more time and it's more devices involved, so I'll be testing again all the battery performance and bugs within the software. Expect that video here shortly. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.